Hey guys, I'm Paul, this is Maytech. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make these laser cut leaves. Let's jump right in. Obviously, the first thing you wanna do is go collect yourself some leaves. These can be any leaves. I'm using fallen maple leaves here. You can, of course, use fresh leaves off the tree. This has worked for me for all the leaves I've tried, but typically the bigger, the better. Next, you wanna take these leaves and you wanna both flatten them and dry them out at the same time. I'm gonna put mine under a plane of glass here that's sitting on a cutting board and leave them for a day or two to dry out. You can, of course, use the old book method and put it in between the pages of a book. The next step is to rehydrate your dry leaves right before you're ready to laser them. This keeps the leaves from burning in the lasering process. So simply take the leaves, put them into a tub of water for five to ten minutes. Take them out after five to ten minutes and let them dry on a piece of paper towel until there's no visible moisture. The software I'm going to use for this project is T2 Laser. You can of course use whatever software you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up, import the file, and then I'm going to resize it to the size I need. I'm going to do uh, 30 uh, millimeters here, which works great for the cutout I want. Next, I'm going to go up and use the trace feature in T2 Laser to trace an outline of the leaf. My particular settings for this particular cut on this laser is full power at 255 and the speed set at 800. I also have this set to black and white. So once I get this set up the way I want, I'm gonna export the G code out ready for cutting. Give it a quick preview here, make sure it all looks good. Yep, it's gonna start from the center. So that's where we're gonna go. So let's start cutting. Just a note that all the files that I'm gonna use in this tutorial are gonna be available for download in the description box below. Now, I'm gonna start by lasering a maple leaf design inside the maple leaves original I know eh? I'm using a 2.5 watt diode laser I'm gonna have my settings for my laser in the description below you're gonna obviously have to play around with your settings to get the right cutout uh, depending on both the leaves and the power of the, your laser and of course these settings won't apply to if you're using a co2 laser you're gonna have to find uh, those settings on your own as I don't have one right now when you're setting your laser it's just finding a fine point in between uh, cutting through the leaf without burning it. If you do find you're burning your uh, leaf easily, it probably means you need to soak it for longer. So here I'm doing another color maple leaf. I found that the settings within the laser can stay the same no matter what color you're cutting. Uh, hopefully that'll be the same for you, but you'll have to test that out. My plan here is to be inserting one color of maple leaf into another color of maple leaf in the frames, and you'll see what that looks like at the end. Next, I'm gonna do some deer heads. Now, this is, again, just another vector file that I'm cutting out with the same settings as before. Now, this is the same deer head that was uh, cut out in the previous clip on a yellow maple leaf. Now, what you're gonna see here is the laser actually starts to burn the leaf. This is what you really have to be careful of. In this case, it's because the leaf was too dry. I did uh, actually rehydrate it, but I left it out for too long, so it got a little too dry, and now it's gonna burn. So you're gonna have to be careful to watch this and make sure that your leaves uh, get rehydrated enough uh, and also keep maybe covered if you plan to leave them out for a bit. It's really kind of finding that perfect mix. I'm also going to do a hummingbird cutout here. And in this red maple leaf, I'm going to do a bear paw. So next I'm going to do some engraving on the leaf. Here I'm going to do a Celtic knot design. The laser power on your uh, machine is going to have to be turned down obviously for this. Uh, my settings are going to be in the description below. You're obviously going to have to play with your laser to uh, find out what works best for you. I also found that running it on two passes, so two light passes as opposed to one pass worked a lot better and uh, kept the leaf from burning as much. So you might want to try multiple passes as opposed to only one pass to get in your engraving happening. So I took these leaves and I placed them into some affordable frames here I got down at Walmart. First here we have the deer and the hummingbird cutouts and I just uh, cut those out on some red maples and I placed them uh, with some yellow maples as backings into a frame that's glass on both sides to kind of give a cool uh, see-through type of effect. So next we have the maple leaf cutouts uh, along with the bear paw cutout and I placed those into a frame with a black matte background and I also took some of the red leaves and I placed them inside the cutouts of the yellow leaf to kind of give an inlay effect that kind of came out cool. 
Here I have a grizzly bear cutout done on a yellow maple leaf uh, with a red maple leaf back in it and I place that into a frame with a maple veneer background. And last we have the Celtic knot engraving. I didn't place this one in the frame and you can see shortly after not placing these into the frames the leaves will start to curl again. So if you don't want your leaves to curl you do want to make sure to place them into a frame fairly quickly or to make sure to put them into whatever flattening device you use to flatten them out initially. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed learning how to make these. If you did make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video and we'll see you soon.